Beneath the surface of the earth and in the shadow of Geneva is a marvel of human ingenuity and a possible sign of the end of the world. The Monstrous Large Hadron Collider (LHC). This device is a once-in-a-lifetime tool for experts, allowing them to concentrate on subatomic particles and discover the mysterious god molecule, the Higgs boson. Scientists are divided over a disturbing explanation provided by eminent physicist Brian Cox, which lets them test the basic constituents of matter and examine space-time's true surface. However, these impacts' enormous energy also carry significant risks, both known and unknown. The potential generation of small black holes or other unusual events that could have unanticipated consequences is one of the most urgent concerns surrounding the operation of the massive Hadron Collider. Even while theoretical simulations indicate that any such black holes would be ephemeral and pose no threat to Earth or its people, the possibility of unintentionally producing power that is beyond our reach still remains disruptive. In addition, extensive safety procedures and supervision are necessary to minimize potential risks due to the size and complexity of the tests carried out at the collider. The international community of scientists and researchers involved in the collider's operation understands how important it is to prioritize safety and make sure that every test is carried out with the highest care and responsibility. Not only is the Large Hadron Collider a marvel of modern engineering, but it is also the focal point of particle physics and cosmology today, capable of shocking and testing our comprehension of the structure of reality. Its main goal is to examine the fundamental particles that comprise the universe, and its results will have a significant impact on our understanding of existence. The LHC offers an amazing chance to explore the Higgs boson and other fundamental particles by reproducing conditions that existed just minutes after the Big Bang. The Higgs boson, often called the God Particle, was proposed as a crucial component of the standard model of particle physics in 1964 by Peter Higgs and Associates. The underlying particles and forces that comprise the cosmos are described by this paradigm. The Higgs field, an unseen force that gives other particles mass, was established by the 2012 discovery of the Higgs boson at the LHC. This revelation strengthened our grasp of the hidden structure of the cosmos and validated decades of theoretical work, a major triumph. But like any significant scientific undertaking, the search for knowledge at the LHC is not without possible hazards and ethical quandaries. Due to the high energy involved in particle collisions at the LHC, it is not completely impossible to create new kinds of matter or cause unexpected reactions. Concerns have been raised regarding the possible outcomes of high-energy collisions due to conjectures made by some scientists that could produce tiny black holes or other exotic particles. Even if the majority of specialists believe that these hazards are exceedingly distant, scientific research is by its very nature an exploration of the unknown. Brian Cox's confirmation that the LHC could be able to replicate a tiny Big Bang emphasizes the significance of this research as well as its possible risks. The Large Hadron Collider is the culmination of contemporary science, but its remarkable powers also lead to a profound debate about the bounds and obligations of scientific research. The Collider works beyond the limits of human knowledge and technological capabilities, yet it seeks to provide answers to fundamental questions about the cosmos through its design and operation. Significant concerns concerning the definition of scientific risk and the moral consequences of such cutting-edge research are brought up by this intersection. Replicating circumstances from moments after the Big Bang is one of the most exciting features of the LHC, providing a fascinating window into the early cosmos. Through this simulation, scientists can investigate phenomena that would be challenging to reach in the real world and research particles that existed in the early phases of the cosmos. Researchers can test theoretical predictions and improve particle physics models by simulating these severe conditions. For example, studies conducted at the LHC may investigate the characteristics of hypothetical dark matter particles, which are thought to account for a large amount of the mass of the universe but are difficult to detect directly. The tremendous implications of dark matter for our understanding of the universe motivate research efforts to comprehend it. Though direct discovery is still difficult, dark matter is currently inferred from its gravitational effects on visible stuff. In an effort to overcome this obstacle, the LHC's experiments try to create dark matter particles in the laboratory. If effective, this would fundamentally alter our perception of the cosmos and possibly yield fresh findings and understandings. 
These results demonstrate the LHC's value as a tool for science and as a spark for novel ideas that have the potential to alter our understanding of the universe. One of the four fundamental forces in nature, the strong force, is a fascinating subject for further study. Understanding the strong force's behavior at high energies can provide light on the fundamental makeup of matter. The strong force is what holds protons and neutrons together inside the atomic nucleus. Researchers are able to investigate the dynamics between quarks and gluons, the fundamental particles that mediate the strong force, thanks to the LHC's capacity to examine strong force interactions on an extreme scale. A deeper comprehension of nuclear physics and the principles influencing the behavior of atomic nuclei may result from these investigations. The LHC is driving advances in technology that go beyond particle physics. Complex systems at the collider for identifying and interpreting particle collisions have sparked advancements in sensor, data analysis, and computation. For instance, the World Wide Web was once intended to serve as a platform for researchers at CERN to exchange data from particle physics experiments. These days, information sharing and international communication are completely transformed by technology. The LHC's requirements for processing and data handling have had a wide-ranging impact on many different sectors, proving that significant scientific study can propel technical advancements. But using such a strong tool also calls for strict adherence to safety regulations and moral considerations. A thorough evaluation of the hazards is necessary due to the possibility of unforeseen consequences, such as the formation of novel or uncommon particles. Even while theoretical models indicate that there is very little chance of catastrophic events happening, it is still possible. Because of this uncertainty, scientists must be cautious and open in their work, making sure that safety procedures are followed and that the public is aware of any potential hazards and the steps being taken to reduce them. Scientific research must include public awareness and engagement, especially for initiatives that could have a significant impact on society as a whole. The LHC has sparked a lot of conversation and attention, which emphasizes how crucial it is to explain difficult scientific concepts to a larger audience. Good science communication helps the public have an informed conversation about the dangers and ramifications of cutting-edge scientific investigations by demystifying research. Through fostering an open and honest communication with the public, scientists can resolve issues, clear up misunderstandings, and increase public confidence in the scientific method. The LHC's ongoing operation and the possibility of making new discoveries provide significant challenges for the direction of science as we go forward. By examining hitherto unexplored areas of particle physics, the collider may raise fresh issues and problems that expand our understanding. The exploration of these frontiers will necessitate continued cooperation between researchers, engineers, and decision-makers to guarantee responsible research practices and the optimization of scientific gains at the expense of minimized hazards. The LHC is still a monument to human ingenuity and the unwavering pursuit of knowledge. The endeavor to comprehend the deepest secrets of the universe is symbolized by it, which represents the coming together of advanced technology, theoretical physics, and international cooperation. It is crucial to continue to consider the ethical ramifications and possible outcomes of our discoveries as we move forward in our investigation of the underlying forces and particles that form our world. The Large Hadron Collider is considered to be at the forefront of scientific research since it provides important insights into the nature of the universe. Its experiments could lead to the discovery of new fields of study, advance technological advancement, and change our perception of reality. However, great responsibilities accompany its extraordinary abilities. The quest for understanding must be in line with the more general ethical concerns of our day by striking a balance between the pursuit of knowledge and a dedication to safety, transparency, and public involvement. There is a widespread feeling in the scientific community that something fundamental, with consequences that go beyond our current comprehension, has been discovered at CERN. Understanding how the Large Hadron Collider operates is crucial before delving into the ramifications of Cox's claim. Constructed by CERN, the LHC is the most potent particle accelerator in the world, a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets. Replicating the conditions of the universe's birth, it represents the apex of human achievement. With the help of this magnificent machine, we are able to solve the universe's riddles and uncover something genuinely revolutionary, 
possibly even revolutionary. One of the most prominent research organizations in the world, CERN was founded in 1954 and has 23 member governments in addition to a large scientific community. Although the LHC is the main project of CERN, it is only a small portion of a wider network of detectors and accelerators used to study the subatomic realm. Protons are accelerated at the LHC to almost the speed of light, simulating the energy of the cosmos at the Big Bang. A sophisticated array of magnets directs the protons on their journey, and sophisticated cooling systems keep the magnets at temperatures lower than space, resulting in temperatures that are millions of times hotter than the sun's core. The LHC is a technological marvel that operates underground and is protected from cosmic radiation. The superconducting magnets require the entire ring to be cooled to temperatures lower than the vacuum of space. There are four locations on the accelerator ring where collisions take place, and these locations correlate to the four main particle detectors. Atlas, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB scientists can sort through the wreckage in pursuit of the elusive Higgs boson, a particle essential to comprehending the structure of the universe, by using these detectors, which record the aftermath of collisions. The LHC is a monument to human ambition and inventiveness as well as a scientific instrument. It stands for our pursuit of knowledge and our wish to comprehend the underlying forces that shape the cosmos. However, as we stretch the bounds of knowledge, we also have to take the existential and moral issues into account. What dangers come with venturing into the unknown? Could our quest for excellence unintentionally unleash? Forces outside of our control? In the sacred corridors of CERN, where the limits of human understanding are constantly being pushed, something has been found that even the most seasoned scientists find chilling. Renowned particle physicist and former CERN researcher Brian Cox recently made a comment that shocked and scared conventional scientists. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN aims to reproduce a small-scale version of the Big Bang, the cosmic explosion that gave rise to our existence. Cox went on to discuss the possible consequences of achieving this aim, pointing out that the LHC has the power to produce novel events and may be used to discover the Higgs boson and investigate dark matter, which are substances that make up a large amount of the universe. It is not only a theoretical idea but a genuine possibility to recreate a tiny Big Bang at the LHC. Scientists can see the origin of existence itself because the conditions inside the collider are the same as they were at the beginning of the universe. But great power also carries a great deal of responsibility and risk. Examine this scenario. What would happen if something went wrong? The Russian physicist Anatoly Born was seriously injured in an accident that happened in 1978 at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Russia due to a malfunction that brought his head into contact with a proton beam. Born overcame this and carried on with his research, demonstrating the tremendous power and possible risks of particle accelerators. One should not take the hazards involved with a particle accelerator such as the LHC lightly. Some in the scientific community have legitimate concerns about the possibility of unanticipated reactions and the manipulation of reality itself. The risk of creating microscopic black holes, areas of space-time with a gravitational pull so strong that not even light can escape, is one of the main concerns surrounding the LHC's investigations. In theory, the LHC could theoretically eat the Earth from the inside out if it were to induce such a catastrophe, even on a small scale. Scientists have reassured the public, nevertheless, that any black holes produced will quickly vanish. The fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators are important to understand how the LHC could produce a black hole. The energy released when protons collide at almost the speed of light is so great that it has the potential to distort space-time itself. If a heavy object were put upon a taut trampoline, the surface would bend and, if the weight were high enough, a hole might be created. This illustration shows how a gravitational anomaly could be produced by the LHC. Prominent physicists like the late Stephen Hawking have expressed interest in this intriguing but unsettling possibility. Hawking warned that the Higgs boson could become unstable at extremely high energy levels, potentially triggering a catastrophic vacuum decay that could destroy the universe. Concerns over particle collider experiments, particularly those at CERN, have also been voiced by renowned cosmologist Sir Martin Rees in his book, Our Final Century. Rees examines the possible dangers of collider tests, such as the generation of vacuum instability. In theory, 
This instability may cause a phase transition that would cause havoc throughout space-time and result in an unthinkable catastrophe. Even if these eventualities are still very much in the realm of possibility, they deserve careful thought. There is very little room for error, and the stakes are extremely high. In order to reduce any potential hazards, some researchers have thoroughly assessed the risks that could arise from their studies and put in place comprehensive safety procedures and safeguards. There is always a degree of uncertainty in scientific research, especially when exploring uncharted territory. Risks have always been associated with the quest for knowledge, yet it is this desire to push boundaries that has accelerated human progress. The LHC is the result of many years of worldwide cooperation and advancement in science. However, beneath its striking appearance is a field of deep scientific study rife with dangers and moral dilemmas. Uncovering the secrets of particle physics is the collider's main objective, and it has produced many important findings, such as the presence of the long-elusive Higgs boson. But the massive energies produced inside its boundaries also make one worry about the potentially disastrous results of such an endeavor. Even though there are many safety precautions in place to reduce hazards, it is not completely impossible for catastrophic events like the formation of black holes or other unusual phenomena to occur. It is critical to undertake these studies with a heightened awareness of potential results and a dedication to transparency and public conversation as scientists continue to push the boundaries of our understanding. With its unparalleled powers and potential for important discoveries, the LHC is a monument to human ingenuity and the continuous effort to understand the underlying principles of the cosmos. But beneath its appealing surface is a field of deep scientific research fraught with dangers and moral dilemmas. The tests conducted at the collider access energy and forces that are not easily understood by the general public. Subatomic particles colliding at near-light speeds produce conditions similar to those that were present in the early cosmos.